Filtration by kscience.com Filtration is a separation technique which is used to separate an insoluble solid from a solvent. For example, let's say we have a mixture in this beaker containing water which has a chemical formula of H2O, dissolved salts represented by the small dots and then mud represented by the bigger black circles. The dissolved salts are soluble, which means they can dissolve in water, whereas the mud is insoluble. The mud cannot dissolve in water. So if a substance is soluble, that substance can dissolve in a particular solvent. In this case, the solvent is water, whereas mud is insoluble because it cannot dissolve in water. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So to separate the insoluble mud from the salt water, we use a process called filtration. The apparatus we need is a filter funnel, which slots into a conical flask, and then filter paper is folded in a special way to slot into the filter funnel. This is the conical flask, this is the filter funnel, and this is the filter paper. So once you've set up the apparatus, you gently pour the mixture into the filter funnel. The large insoluble substances, in this case mud, gets trapped by the filter paper because the holes in the filter paper, also known as pores, are too small. They will not let the large insoluble substances pass through. The water molecules and dissolved salts are small enough to pass through the pores in the filter paper. So this flows through the pores and ends up in the conical flask where it is collected. The large insoluble substances trapped in the filter paper is known as the residue, whereas the water molecules and dissolved salts that pass through the pores and is collected in the conical flask at the bottom is known as the filtrate. The residue is made up of larger pieces which are insoluble, and the filtrates contain smaller soluble substances which are dissolved in the water. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.